Hey everyone, Soul Review. So Mike and I just finished recording um, remotely and uh, we both had dinner. So I thought I would do one more review. And uh, this is actually courtesy of Mike from a few months ago. Um, this is Earth Eagle Brewing. They're out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, Portsmouth has a pretty cool beer scene there. Portsmouth Brewing Company, Smutty Nose started up there. Uh, great rhythms up there as well. This is their barrel series. Uh, Brethren Code is the name of the beer. So it's coming from the barrel series. Sorry. Uh yeah, brother and code white stout with coconut and coffee beans aged in rum barrels, 8.8%. Uh, white stout, what did you say? Gone are the days of dark and heavy stouts. This style of beer confuses the mind, engages the taste buds, and has many wondering, how did you do that? We accomplish this without chocolate, black, or roasted malts. Instead, we had cocoa nibs, coffee bean, and coconut. As if that wasn't enough, we aged in a rum barrel. Now is the perfect time to experience the flavors. I don't see a bottle on date. Um... I do know it's maybe it's it's probably more than a couple months old. It's 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 pretty old. I think a year. There could be a year on this. Um, it's been in the f- ba- cell. It's been in the cellar for a while. And then I put it in the fridge, and then I took it out. Um, it's a little cold. Um, I've had a few things from Earth I had an IPA. It wasn't my my jam. Um, but I don't know, let's get into glass. See what happens. It's a nice head though. It's like it's rocky, two fingers, chill haze. It looks like it could be a the camera not really doing justice. Uh, it looks like it could be a looks could be a IPA. It could be a pilsner. It could be a Kolsch. It could be a a saison. Um, it's a, it's a pretty looking beer for sure. Um, and I've had white stouts, obviously. Um, I don't know. Why I said obviously. That's kind of cocky. Um, I just recently did Hardy Woods. Um, Frosty GBS, which is their um, white stout version of gingerbread stout. And that was delicious. Um, I've had plenty. Uh, Fat Orange Cat made a really good white stout. I had that with Reed um, last summer, I believe. That was delicious. Um, okay, now I can get a nose. I was just kind of talking to get the head down. I'm getting this cacao nibs in there. A little bit of coffee's there roasted green pepper it, it has coffee in it. It, it i i yeah like i said it, it's it's probably close to a year i would imagine a little bit of sweetness a tinge of cardboard i don't know if it's oxidation mm. thanks a little bit of rumminess a little bit of sweetness like a little bit of sugary sweetness like dark sweet it's got a taste cheers Thanks, Mike. Hmm. The flavor is way better than the nose. I'll say that. You get coffee right off the bat. You get the cacao nibs, but very slightly. You get more of the bitterness of cacao nibs. Yeah, it's actually drinking pretty well. It's a little cold. Uh, wondering how this would be if it warmed up. Man, this is so loud. Okay, I'm back. A little warm up a little bit. And I did some work at 8 o'clock at night because that's stupid of me. But um, the coffee comes through more. I almost get, now that I'm drinking this, I get um, Trillium Day and Night vibes from this beer. Trillium Day and Night is their blonde barley wine um, with coffee in it. So makes sense, I guess. But that also has, I think there was also a cacao variant as well because they, they, they released a cacao PM Dawn, Day and Night cacao. Either way. Um, yeah, this definitely has that blonde barley wine, cacao. The coconut, yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm not really getting barrel, though. It's 
It's almost like this confectionery sugar sweetness. I said this in a review earlier. I don't know if it's just in the top of my mind. Um, yeah, it's very well constructed for a year. Um, green pepper was there in the beginning, but now the coffee is still coming through a little bit. I, I imagine the coffee was more prominent. Um, Barrel-wise, I get a little bit of heat in my chest as I drink, but only 8.8%. So I'd be curious to know how long they age this in in in, in rum barrels. Um, it, I, I I am thoroughly enjoying this beer. I, I wasn't to be, I'll, I'll be completely candid and honest. I was not expecting to enjoy this beer. I've been sort of seeing it in my fridge going, Ugh, that's not gonna be good. Uh, that's not gonna be good. Um, but um, mainly just because unfortunately I, I've had some bad experiences with, with uh, earth, with earth Eagle beers. But um, this, th- this one was a pleasant surprise. Um, and actually, I can't wait to kind of pour the rest of this, let it open up a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll go play some video games, watching TV, see what happens, sit in social distancing, quarantine. And uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you've had anything from Earth Eagle. If you've had Earth Eagles, Brother and Code, they're white stout with coconut and coffee beans aged in rum barrels. Um, what you think of it and what you think of them in general. And uh, nursehouse.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. And like, comment, subscribe, and those notification bells, ding, ding, that aren't even here. They're never here. I'm never, I never remember to edit them in, so... It is what it is. Just click the notification bell and then uh, you'll be notified whenever we uh, post new videos. Anyways, I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense.